Hello guys, welcome back, welcome if you're new or returning. I hope this reading finds you well. I am really excited about the reading today. As I was meditating, these few cards jumped out. And I have a feeling this reading here is for someone who is currently struggling, battling with something either physical, mental, emotional. I'm kind of getting here. This is going to be the end of suffering or the end of a chronic condition or, you know, there's something here in your life that's about to be removed. The challenges, the blockages, the hurdles, whatever it is you're currently struggling with, it could even also be a person, you know? I'm just seeing here the situation here is going to lighten for you, okay? The Ten of Swords right here just talks about this chronic condition or you know this it could be something that you have been suppressing or depressed by that is about to turn around completely okay the first two cards that jumped out was the ten of swords to the sun the sun is the happiest card in the deck it's like taking ecstasy or you know you're you're in this bliss state to the million degree there is no limit there is no you know it's in, just infinite bounds of happiness and joy coming to your life i'm seeing here just imagine hitting all green lights in areas of your life you know, landing that perfect job, that perfect partner, getting exactly what you need right now, this very hour. You know, <laughs> I don't know why I always end up rhyming. But, you know, that's, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. It's like whatever challenge, obstacle, problem that you feel that is just pestering. It could even be like this, you know, feeling of sadness or, you know, it could be depression it could be something that you have been suppressing I, i'm seeing here there's something that's about to change it all or, you know completely it could be regarding a person i'm seeing your commitment on its way to you okay i love the fact that the four of wands is coming through because this does scream commitment to me especially when it came i don't know why king of swords been stalking me in my readings could you it could have something to do with a libra gemini aquarius male specifically but not necessarily it could be male or female it could be any zodiac sign but i'm kind of getting here the energy the person who you've been dealing with okay if this is a person not a situation now i'm going to try to keep this reading as general as i can since it is a general reading but if you find that there's something i mentioned that resonates take it it was meant for you just leave the parts that do not resonate to somebody else who is meant to receive or hear it. If you guys want to do a personal reading with me where we look at your situation personally or, you know, regarding a specific person you're dealing with, we'll see here what Spirit wants you to know about that when it comes to maybe how they think and feel, the energies around you both, maybe there's something you may or may not be aware of, and if it'll lead to something, maybe you're wondering if, you know, ever lead to anything or how to salvage and save and do a course correction maybe on a long-standing or a no contact even block situation anything can happen i've seen it time and time and time again and you guys know who you are i have dealt with so many clients i'm so happy to share you know I won't ever give you know the actual names of the people but um you know their stories are just it's this it's so you know enlightening it's they they thought it was a no possible no any possibilities of reconnection and here they are they're you know they have children now and they have moved in together and they are about to get married i've seen it time and time again even a guy who was rejected by a woman he loved and she said no i just want to be friends even started dating other people one including one including her ex because now you know going on dates and stuff you know and she's the one initiating and actually prompting all these excursions for them to go on 
you know, I myself personally have actually been in that kind of situation too, where it was a no contact situation. The situation was dead, lifeless, didn't even have a heartbeat. And, and then all of a sudden it just, I mean, I couldn't even fathom how, you know, tr the whole thing just transformed right between, just right before my eyes. I was just completely stunned by it. So I want you guys to know I've seen it and this is why I am just <clears throat> so incredibly motivated to you know tell people anything is really possible if you think it you can believe if you see you can see it happening there's something and it's not just your intuition if you get a really strong feeling like this is your person there is maybe something also you know the universe is kind of working it's magic you know trying to tell you something um you know sometimes yeah we do meet the right person at the wrong time but i don't also i don't really believe in wrong time there was maybe some work we had to do on ourselves or maybe there was something they needed to do or figure out on their own or take care of before the situation could actually take root you know but this reading here i'm getting for somebody very specific you have been struggling or maybe battling with a chronic condition for some time now. It's about to be relieved from your life, released and relieved, okay? A lot of relief is coming. The sun here, there is absolutely no limitations to how much joy and abundance is going to come into your life. So don't you worry, okay? This could even be a situation with a person. You may feel like, oh my god, I just, I don't know why I can't ever get over him or her. You know, I want to, but I can't. Or, you know, I really want to be with him or her. There's something positive news coming, being delivered directly to you very soon. And if you guys found a situation, maybe with a person, especially challenging, but in a non-romantic sense, I'm kind of getting here. Those persons also, there's something changing here where, you know, they may show up correctly. You know, they apologize and the whole situation just morphs into something else completely where it's really beneficial to not just them and you, but like as a whole somehow. I'm seeing here there's progress there's movement, there's commitment. And if you absolutely don't want a situation or a problem to exist in your life anymore, I'm seeing here this is going to be expunged. Like this person's going to be, like the universe is pulling them away and finding a better alternative, you know, for the situation to have this most amazing outcome for you. Okay, the sun and the four of wands, okay. Is really what I'm getting celebration commitment joy happiness the Sun is the happiest card in the deck and I am also getting here with the six of Pentacles I had a funny feeling the six of Pentacles was gonna come out and it did this is you know it represents compassion understanding favors okay if you guys are also and I want you I really sincerely genuinely believe this if you guys are able at this time and you have the means to give do it being charitable right now is going to be very favorable to your energy okay because it's just like that's why i always see people who hoard people who just you know stockpile it could be anything or even money money is energy things are energy the way that they hoard if they have more if they can give and they just hoard it all to themselves they that actually brings a lot of negative and bad luck to them you know it's not supposed to sit still energy is not it's not it's supposed to be that's why you see that in the infinity sign it's it has to be a balance of give and take it has to be in order to receive more you have to give you know and it's just that they that's just how they, i don't know for some reason that's just how it works and i've seen it time and time again people who hoard anything um do not actually receive anymore if you guys are able to just like if you can give it doesn't have to be money or a materialistic things it could be you know your generosity your kindness your compassion your favor to somebody else you know <clears throat> like you showing up right now and liking and commenting the video and subscribing you know that's a positive energy free completely to you you know but it sends like really positive vibes and you get that in return somewhere in your life i guarantee it 
I'm going to be putting these cards back and see what else Spirit wants to say, but it's like reassuring you that there is enough, okay? There's more than enough to go around. If you are struggling with something that you find incredibly challenging, this message here is saying, oh my God, all is going to be well. You have nothing, nothing, nothing to worry about right now. Yeah, things may not be looking up. Maybe you guys may feel like you're kind of currently on the struggle bus. A lot of us kind of feel that way, you know. <clears throat> but I'm seeing here, if it's love that you want, if it's a reconciliation that you want, if it's to remove some kind of obstacle challenge from your life, it's that's what you want. It's coming here with a very strong yes of yes, you are going to receive, you know, some kind of good news, favor from the universe, favor from somebody. Just wait till you see, you know, it's, it's really, the universe is about to give you something, okay? It's about to give you something. The end of some kind of suffering. I'm telling you, look at that one just jumped out, you guys. Again. And I was, I, I remember, that's why, you know, this card just really drew me in. And that Ten of Swords was the ending of some kind of painful experience that you might be going through right now. And the same message is here with death. It's an ending. It's transformative. Something here is happening. Some kind of change is going on here. After a period of stagnancy, after a period of delay, after a year of not, you know, seeing any forward movement or maybe for you feels like nothing was really gaining momentum you know in a connection and maybe your work uh, progress your business you know something here there was some kind of timeout or delay or maybe even a full stop perhaps some of you guys this person that I'm speaking about is somebody who you haven't heard from in a very long time okay you guys may have separated gone your own ways and you may have even blocked or possibly a no contact situation this has been coming out over and over and over in my reading it was 12 12 when i said that lots of synchronicities going on here i don't know why i've been seeing it all day i'm seeing it so much in my readings um like i was just speaking i was kind of going into the you know this this energy the six of pentacles and it just flew out again okay um, something is being given to you. It's like the universe wants to supply you with favor, with compassion. And if this is your person that you want, there's going to be mutual respect, mutual effort, mutual support, compassion, love, acceptance, kindness, whatever it is you put in they put into you know and if, if things have been uneven lately like you felt like you were doing a lot of the efforting or putting pouring into this person and not getting much in, in return you know there's some kind of ending to that where now things are going to be really balanced okay strong earth signs coming in Virgo Capricorn Taurus I have also Scorpio, and I was getting Leo, Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini earlier. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm strongly getting this has to do with your significant other. Okay, like your, whoever is the masculine, okay, it's either for a masculine that's watching or for your divine masculine okay there has been a reason why this person has been a little distant lately i am getting this is now kind of turning into love <clears throat> okay so you know something here you know something here your intuition has been telling you something about this situation It's saying, trust your intuition. You are not wrong about this person, however way that might apply to you, resonate for you, okay? If you need a personal reading, reach out. And we'll see here what's showing up. I was getting strong earth, okay? And I feel like maybe this is for someone very specific here, okay? Regarding an earth sign, male or female, 
This could be you deciding to leave a situation, move on. You're tired of, you know, trying to find ways to make this person understand we can't make anyone understand or make anyone do anything we have to be in the receiving energy of it but i feel like right now you feel like the way you're trying to bond with somebody or get something through to somebody is like pulling teeth you know you're like f this i'm leaving okay i'm giving up no more i'm done you know or you may be actually um kind of on the fence about that I, for some reason, if you were dating this person, okay, or it was starting to feel like it was becoming a relationship, I am really strongly getting something is moving into the honeymoon stage, okay? I am really getting that. I don't know why. Watch the four of ones fly out again. I am getting like a relationship. What is this that spirit wants to tell you guys? Okay. There's a message here. Ooh, message of love. Cut forth over, you know, lots of love in this situation. Someone here is romantically interested in you. They are so romantically interested in you, but yet they have a funny way of revealing it. They're holding back because they have romantic interest and how they express it is like distant <laughs> okay you may be even wondering if this person even likes you there are men okay i have actually spoke to one and i feel very strong this is what's going on here he would be very nice and friendly talkative social with everybody okay talk about their day you know laugh jokes witty banner all of it very sarcastic then around the person he actually likes he's all you know cold distant and doesn't say much the woman is thinking okay what's going on here i guess he's not into me he doesn't uh, you know we're kind of dating we're seeing each other but he kind of gives off the signal that he's just not that interested you know and that's a thing for a lot of women that makes them feel well okay if he's not really pursuing you all hot and heavy and relentlessly chasing then he isn't that into you that is true for some men yes okay certain personality types do pursue in that way but not all of them not all of them and i have a personal account of that i have a personal account i have also met lots of people who would make their interest in me very overtly known and then only to find out later on from someone who i thought like i who i really 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 genuinely liked showed me no signs of interest and i'm like okay but then all of a sudden, you know, confessing his love and like when he felt like, okay, he was shooting himself in the foot, he was like, okay, 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 okay. You know, like he, he was just like, uh, I was like, he, he, was talk he started talking wife. I was like, what? You know, I didn't even know you liked me. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's something here going on with somebody here. I knew I didn't even have to flip that over to see. They're holding back communications. I feel like that has been the running theme. I don't know why, who this reading is trying to reach. But some of you are not entirely convinced that anything could happen or become the high priestess here that I was getting. You know this is your person. Some of you who are no longer interested in anyone from your past, there is something new coming. But with this Four of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, I know that this person has been wanting to hear from you. Wanting to hear from you want to speak to you but they are not revealing much they're holding back they don't want to expose themselves and you know show any vulnerability okay i'm seeing here this person doesn't even feel like they're worthy of you they kind of have you like you're out of their league you're probably too good for them and that you wouldn't have any interest in them okay i'm seeing here this is something they see you as relationship potential not casual not just sex only maybe that's what you're wondering because this this screams commitment here page of pentacles is like okay i see there's something special here and i don't want to give this up 
why would I let this go? This really, it feels like there's something really valuable and special in our connection. You know, it's feeling like this is, you know, different from all the rest and I don't, I don't want it to disappear. I don't want it to, I don't want to ruin this. You know what I mean? Okay. The feelings that they have for you. I feel like there has been some kind of challenge here. Okay. This is really boggling their mind. It, it scares the hell out of them. Okay. They, this is a, someone here who's really, um, you know, when they start to develop strong feelings for someone, they get really scared and they pull back. And then they will kind of express it to you. This is the energy that's coming through right now to me. I don't know how this is going to resonate for you guys, but they really do pull back and they really don't know how to express themselves. Okay. It's like you guys got closer. I'm getting here the energies. You guys were getting closer. There was a feeling of closeness developing. And then you may have kind of chased because I'm seeing here they pull back. Um, and may have actually rejected you or may have rejected you before in the past, but this is somebody here who's, um, kind of, um, realizing, okay, realizing there's something that they, yeah, they're realizing here that they, this is something they want. They're checking it out. They're studying you. Okay. There's something that they see. They find value in this. I'm also seeing this person is also really busy. The Seven of Pentacles is all about investment. Putting, pouring, you know, into a situation. But this has gotten them so confused, okay? Because this wasn't exactly what they were looking for, um, a relationship where they were not expecting to catch feelings for you as strong as they did. They, you know, this could have just been... Yeah, let's see the hangman, seeing the situation differently from a different perspective. Okay. Um, they were not expecting to catch strong feelings for you or to want to reconsider something here that's happened between the two of you, okay? Maybe this is someone you haven't heard from in a long time. This is someone that has denied, rejected you, or someone you haven't spoken to in some time, okay? Um, you guys may have had a falling out. I did see the Five of Wands earlier. Um, the Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune. Something's moving forward in your life. <clears throat> okay, see, there was a time out. There was a delay. Okay, there was withdrawal. There was somebody here who needed to go within and think about some things. And here we have the wheel. Perfect timing is what I'm getting. Perfect timing for you to send a message okay but do i want to say this um kind of use with caution play your cards right reach out i can kind of guide you guys on um you know how to maybe revive a situation or if you want to know you know what spirit wants to tell you because this is a new start about to happen you can have this amazing new beginning all the cards that i just put back all just came out something is on its way to you it's in the air right now very this is a um, this is a very positive omen for communications right now between you and somebody i don't know why um you know i'm getting that okay this is a very, very positive omen right now for you to send a message or messages to come back and forth, okay? To clear up anything that was stagnant, that to clear any misunderstanding, confusion, withdrawal. Okay, I'm kind of getting in here. You guys seeing a lot of synchronicities here? Okay, this could be a soulmate twin flame type of thing, but there's movement in your romantic life, in your life somehow. There's a new beginning that's about to happen. This is going to bring a lot of peace, a lot of happiness, of joy, fun, adventure. Okay, okay so one's a very phallic card, so you know, it's definitely attached to sexual attraction. Whoever it is you may have been intimate with before, but it doesn't have to be sexual intimacy. But I'm seeing here that doesn't exclude that. It definitely does include that. 
Um, and then somebody, oh wow. This person has been secretly depressed over you. Okay, they're really holding like all of this pain and uh, I'm getting here twin flames you guys. I don't know what's going on here. A twin flame soulmate reconciliation. Damn, it's about damn time. Okay. After blocking, if you want to send a message, reach out to me. We'll take a look at the energies. Go ahead and send your message if you want to. And be careful how you, you know, what you say is very important right now. But it looks like you've, it's really in your favor. If you say the right thing, it's going to lead to lots of communication. Okay. And really going in depth with them. Novelty, adventure, experience, excitement. This is something pretty intense that's happening here. Okay. I'm going to get a few more cards to end this reading. I don't want to make this video too long, you guys. <clears throat> same thing, same thing, same thing. Eight of Wands, movement, travel, incoming. I'm just watch and wait. <laughs> watch and see. Look, this is someone here who's already decided. But maybe because of you pulling back, stepping back, or haven't really taken the initiative. This is person is starting to, this could be you or them, is thinking maybe you were never really all that interested. Okay, they were hoping that you would reach out again. I don't know why I'm getting that. But this is having some kind of um, clarity into a situation, okay? It's like, what have I done? Coming to realization after some time out. Okay. And it's like, you know, whenever you, you find yourself, like, remembering something out of the blue or having that realization out of nowhere, you want to do something or you shouldn't do something, you just change your mind. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Three more cards, you guys and me. We're already in 27 minutes. What's another three? It's time. It's time. It is time. I don't know who it's trying to reach. Okay. It is time. It's like the universe is telling you guys get moving on following your intuition, whatever it is that you feel. You're right. That's what I was saying in the beginning of the reading. You're absolutely right. The universe is also bringing something amazing into your life right now, but you have to make that decision. Will you allow it in? You know? Are you going to still stay on that old sob story? Don't do that. And there's no, you won't even be doing that anymore. Okay, you guys, look at this. Yes, this is your person. Yes, it is your person. It could very well be a Virgo. Okay. Gemini. Wow. Hello. Hello. Do you see what I'm seeing, guys? I'm telling you, there's something here. <clears throat> okay, after a no contact situation, after maybe someone here has even traveled or maybe at a distance from you, after having no contact, there has been, you know, something kind of weird or funny going on between the two of you. But this person's really in their head about the situation right now, really thinking about you, but don't really know what to do. So it's like they're hoping that you will reach out first. I would say, you guys, this person's almost like waiting for your instructions for you to take the lead in this romantic dynamic, this romantic situation. All right, I'm going to end this here. I love this reading. I hope this helps somebody. The world just came through. This is definitely uh, the universe. This is um, the card here saying there's something going on in the energy around you. That's like 
bringing the two of you guys together okay this is very esoterical this is like something you can't smell touch or feel but you know there's something kind of spiritual going on around two people who are meant to be and either be together or come back together okay there's something here it's like it's guiding the two of you but i feel like it's more st strongly guiding you the viewer i don't know why i said yeah the nine of cups wish fulfillment all right guys i'm gonna end it here i'll see you guys in the next one hope you guys enjoyed this hope this helped thank you guys for your time i'll see you in the next one or in your personal reading bye